We're spending 11 nights on board Silver Sea's brand new Silver Ray. What do we think of this new ship and this new design? Hey cruisers, welcome back to Cruise Report. It's kind of a cruise update, sort of a mid-cruise review, what our experience has been. First of all, let me preface it by saying that Silver Sea did invite us to come on board Silver Ray as journalists. We are in a what I believe is a superior veranda suite, number 6099, sort of aft, aft of the elevators. This is our, I believe this is our fifth fifth day. We're in Dubrovnik today. We just got back on board the ship. I'll also let you know we're going to do a full review of the ship when we get back uh, for our YouTube channel. If you've done Silver Sea in the past, please put it in the comments down below. If you've been on these uh, Silver Nova or Silver Ray, let us know. Let me know if you agree with our findings and our thoughts so far. Okay. First of all, you walk on board the ship. It's very different. It's a beautiful ship. It's very nicely uh, decorated, very nicely laid out. It is this asynchronous design. So that's a little different. We'll explain that in more detail in our review. But it's different than any other cruise ship, it's especially the upper decks. You'll notice a big difference. And it's certainly different from any other Silver Sea ship we've been on. Do we like it better? The jury is still out on that right now. I want to wait until we're done with the 11 days because the last ship we were on, the traditional, I guess you could say, ship would be Silver Moon two or three years ago, and we really love that ship. We love the Silver Spirit, the Moon, the Muse, that whole class of ships we really do like. Whether or not we like this better or less than those other ships. I'm going to reserve my thoughts on that until the end of this review. But this is a beautiful ship. As far as our stateroom, it's extremely comfortable. I love the colors. I love the design. Great television, great television programming. Um, in incredibly good uh, service from our butler and our room steward. We have no issues with the service. Everything has been like you would expect on Silver Sea as far as service. And that's pretty much true all across the ship. As far as the highlights, what, what, have we, what do I see that has been improved? First impression, what's better, what's not, not as good, in our opinion. This is purely our opinion. And we've talked to people on the ship that disagree with us on this. Not crazy about the menu choices in some of the restaurants. Uh, we ate at La Terraza one night. Very, very limited menu. They've pared down the menu. It used to be a very nice menu. Uh, lots of choices, lots of pasta choices. That's all gone. You pretty much have a couple of choices of pastas, a couple of starters, maybe three mains, and two or three desserts, and that's it. The night we went, I'm not sure yet if the menus change like they used to. They may change every two or three days. They used to do that. Not sure if they still do. Um, but we were underwhelmed with La Terraza. Now, we also, when we first got on board, we ate lunch at La Terraza for the buffet, buffet lunch. Little confusing. Uh, I had the sushi. There were no chopsticks I could find uh, where they had the sushi. They had sweet and sour pork, but there was no rice nearby. I couldn't find the rice. Finally, I found it back around in a completely different area, almost next to the desserts. They had it in a very strange place. And it was a rice pilaf. It wasn't like a white steamed rice like you would expect with sweet and sour pork. So, you know, that, that was just kind of an average experience. We're not big on buffets anyway, so that didn't really matter to us. I'm not going to be able to go through everything in the ship. You'll just have to wait for our review. As far as uh, dinner in Atlantide, we did have dinner in Atlantide one night. Same thing. 
they've gotten rid of the big nice menu that was several pages long what i liked about that is there were so many things on that menu and it never changed it was the same every night so you knew you could come back four or five nights later maybe get lamb that night and then you know the next night you could get something different you could literally eat there every night and have something different off this one nice menu now i'm not sure i think the menu may change every night or every two or three nights so you know you have to go to the tv maybe and look at the menu to see what's on that night it, it, you know i i preferred it the way it was before i've had people we've talked to they disagree they like it the way it is i guess that's just a matter of personal opinion two or three different mains two or three different desserts you know that you don't have that broad category they have some that are always available items they don't call it that but i think they're always available like a, a ribeye steak a new york strip and lamb chops and maybe a chicken breast something like that i'll have to do more research on that we're going to go back to atlanta again and try it again i want to be fair so this is just simply first impression off the top of our head and i'm no notes i'm just telling you what my thoughts are right now as far as I know I'm I sound like I'm being super super critical but this is Silver Sea people pay a lot of money to go on Silver Sea so I think it's important to really be as critical as I can but still be fair bar service has been excellent drink service they still serve canapes in the bars in the evenings I think that's a nice touch and they're very nice very well done drink service has been good with no complaints with the bar service at all the highlight for me the biggest difference that i've seen on this ship and it may just be because of this class of ship the biggest improvement i've seen is with entertainment the stage the lighting the production the technology in this in the theater the venetian lounge is better than what you would expect on a ship with 728 maximum capacity superb and the dancers amazing the the vocalists are as good as we've heard on any ship they've really upped their game as far as entertainment and i'm i'm assuming that is the result of the royal caribbean influence i'm i'm just guessing uh, very very good entertainment great cruise director he's very personable they do still have the afternoon trivia the golf putting the things that you expect they have added bingo we've never played bingo before on silver sea the uh, activity part is pretty much like you had like you've had before on silver sea i can't tell the difference the the demographics on this ship are different than what we've had in the past on silver sea this does seem like a much younger crowd uh, there are a lot of people with kids on board the ship i was surprised to see that even some babies in baby carriages that's something you rarely see on a silver sea cruise maybe that's just because it's a summertime cruise uh, 11 night mediterranean type cruise uh, but we were a little surprised but overall in general i'd say it's a younger crowd and i'm not sure how many people on the ship are silver sea faithful and the reason I say that is because there's hardly anybody at trivia in the afternoon. And usually trivia is packed. Usually you can hardly find a trivia team to get on. But there's maybe four or five teams playing trivia with anywhere from four to maybe six people on each team. Not nearly as crowded trivia-wise, which makes me think th most of the or a lot of the people on this ship are either first or second time Silver Sea cruisers. They're not, you know, the Silver Sea faithful that we're used to seeing. Again, beautiful ship, beautiful stateroom, rock solid. Uh, we haven't felt any ship motion this entire cruise. It's been very quiet. Our stateroom has been extremely quiet, very comfortable. The bed is superb. The pillows, they did bring around the pillow menu, and we picked some great pillows. We're, we're sleeping better than we've slept in a long time. Lots of storage, and this is just a standard, what I would call the standard uh, balcony or veranda stateroom on Silver Sea. So they really did a good job with the decor. It's been very comfortable. So I'll let you know more. I'm just giving you my first little taste impressions of what we think of the ship and the crew. Crew has been amazing. They're always amazing. And uh, 
So anyway, that's it for now. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. If there's anything you want us to specifically check out, I'll uh, be glad to do that. Anyway, tonight we're having dinner at Silver Note. And by the way, I should mention this is our 30th anniversary today. Ricky and I have been together 30 years. We met 30 years ago today. What better place to celebrate 30 years than on a Silver Sea cruise? I can't think of anything any better. Anyway, thanks to all of you that follow us on Instagram and Facebook. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on our next full review of Silver Ray.